Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a basic sketch. Uh, you can draw anything. I've decided to draw a dung beetle, perhaps draw something that is uh, relative to your country, in my case, South Africa. And uh, dung beetles are one of my favorite things. And uh, you could choose anything. You could draw one of the big five, find a picture of an animal that you really love, and you can use this technique to draw. Um, it's a mixed media project this and that means that you're going to use more than one material. Now I know that it might be a bit tricky to find all the materials at home but most of what I'm using you should be able to get hold of and if you can't it really doesn't matter. Just have fun learning to draw. So when you first start to draw you obviously get your basic shapes. I've made a start just to speed things up but the rule of thumb is always to draw light till you've got it right. And that's what I always tell my kids at school. Rather than drawing dark the first time and then rubbing out and getting all these horrible smudge marks on your page, just draw really lightly and then when you're happy with what you've drawn, then you can always go over it and make it a little bit darker. So now the beetle's body is obviously uh, split up into sections because it's an insect. So you have got your, um, your abdomen, your thorax and your head and try when you're drawing it to get those segments in. Now the leg at the back is a little bit blurry. While you're drawing, just try and get a feel for where things are in relation to everything else. So see that this joint is kind of like in a triangle shape away from the head. Look at the negative spaces. So this space here needs to replicate that space in there, which will help you get your angle of your leg right. So there's the top joint. And now I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna try and get that replicated. Remember this is an observational drawing exercise. So the aim is to look and draw, look and draw, look and draw. And I've been practicing it in class with some of my children. It is something that can be learned um, and it is possible for anybody to do. Now we're doing the back leg and middle legs and it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that an insect leg is segmented so you want to show those. And now the back legs. Now it's really dark because these legs are in shadow so if you don't get them 100% it doesn't matter. I'm just drawing it really quickly so that I can get to the fun part. Remember your drawing doesn't just float in space. The dung ball and the beetle are on a surface so you really want to show that and actually that's probably one of the first things I should have done before I started drawing my beetle but you need to put that in so it doesn't look like your beetle's floating in midair. So put your layer in like that, your surface in like that. Now it actually looks like he's on something and he's not just going nowhere. Check that you're happy with everything. If you're not, you can always just adjust it as you need to. And when you're happy with your sketch, then you can go over it in pen. I'm using this uh, Pilot Fine Liner, which I just love. I love these pens. I use them a lot. And I'm going to go over my drawing using this pen. I know it looks like I'm outlining, but you'll see in a minute what's going to happen. I am going to use this as a paint um, in a minute, which is great if you don't have access to paint at home. You can also use this technique just using your normal school felt tip pens or cokies as we call them in South Africa. And um, with a little bit of water, it's a great substitute for paint. So I'm just going to quickly outline my beetles so that I can show you. So let's do the legs, get the segments in, and again, it really doesn't have to be perfect, just get the basics in. Okay, right, just about there. Thanks for being so patient with me, and if you're drawing along, maybe it's better that I'm going a bit slow. <laughs> um, don't be intimidated with drawing. Drawing is all about just using shapes. Right, so there's my beetle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I haven't done my, 
my background. Hold on, bear with me. Let me just pop that in there. And you can make your background anything you like. Now I've just got some clean water and a paintbrush. And very carefully, I'm just going to go around the edges of my page. And you can see what's happening. It's actually, um, what they say, bleeding a little bit. Which is great if you're wanting to create shadows and stuff. You can just push the ink where you want it to go to create a few shadows. Now, what I would suggest you do before the ink is, before the water I mean, is just shade where you want to shade. So if you want your beetle to look three-dimensional, then make it dark where you want it to be dark, like this. And do it with the pen. You know, a little bit darker in there. So that when you come to paint, you, um, you are getting that tone in. Now I'm rushing mine a little bit because I want to show you just how to do it. But you can obviously take a little bit more time doing yours. Remember that if it's under something or behind something, it's normally in the shadow, which means that it's darker. So you can make them quite dark and obviously this particular um, subject that I'm painting is naturally quite dark. If you were doing something like a butterfly or um, I don't know like a toucan or something that's a bright animal, a tree frog, then obviously there would probably not be as much dark areas that you need to, to think about. But just for the moment, I'm not going to um, take too long on this because um, I want to get on with my, my water again. Um, but yeah, so shade it as you would normally with a pencil. Use your pen. And then when you come time to do the water, you'll see that the water will just help give that extra element as you need it. Okay, so the technique I'm using at the moment it's called cross hatching and it's great if you want to shade an area um, it's a little bit of a, um, a fun technique when you're wanting to create some texture as well I'm just rushing mine a little bit to show you so the head you can see there's quite a lot of light on the head so I'm not going to do too much there I'm just going to do a couple of little marks just to show that there's a bit of shape to it and the top of the beetle is quite light the middle of the beetle you can see is quite um, solidly um, shaded so I'm not going to do too much in that way just roughly go over it when you shade in you always go with the shape of the object that you're shading. So if you're shading, if your object is round, you shade in the direction of your object. Okay. Right, so my dung ball itself is um, got a little bit of texture on it, so that'll be quite fun to do. Now you can either do this at the end with a bit of charcoal. Now, if you're sitting at home and you say, oh, Miss, I don't have any charcoal at home, how am I supposed to get charcoal? If you have a barbecue <laughs> or a braai, you can just go and break off a little bit of charcoal if you have any, and um, it's the same stuff. It's nothing different, so that's an idea for you. So the charcoal is quite fun in that. Um, it can shade quite big areas. Um, this is why it's called a mixed media project because so far I've used pencil, I've used pen and now I'm using charcoal and obviously by adding water I am creating a watercolour paint. So this technique is a lot of fun and you can do a lot with it. Don't be scared of charcoal, a lot of people are because they don't use it but it's, it's quite a fun technique. Obviously. <sighs> <laughs> Make sure you don't smudge, blow from time to time, get rid of some of your marks as you go. Um, 
and yeah, this little ball has quite a bit of texture, so you can have a bit of fun with it. I'm showing you a few different techniques just so that you can see the kind of things you can do with it. You obviously don't want to lose your beetle um, as both the ball and the beetle are dark. So by creating different textures, you make sure that the beetle still stands out as he is, after all, the star of this show. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now and I'm going to go back to my water and now let's see what happens. So you can already see this really nice um, uh, technique happening here. Now because we want to create quite a solid um, shading on our beetle's back, on the thorax and the abdomen, it will um, create a nice smooth shading and yet you don't lose the texture that you've created with your pen lines. Now when you want it to go light, just clean your brush a little bit so that you've got more water than ink. And just spread it out a little bit and soften that color. Okay, now let's just do, and you want it a little bit darker there maybe. Right, so now you want to do the same on here. And you can let the pen and the ink just do their thing naturally. Um, often that creates a nicer effect than us trying to control everything all the time. Um, but give it a go. If you don't like something, uh, you can always um, add some water or um, dab it with a tissue. Unfortunately, <laughs> you obviously know you can't rub anything like this out because it's pen and ink. But um, I want you to give it a go and not be frightened. Sometimes letting things happen, you get some great results. It's also okay to leave some areas completely white because that will give you your contrast. So let's do the legs. And this leg here. Great. And now the ball, if you take your pen, I mean your paintbrush, and just go over the charcoal a little bit, it will do exactly the same thing as if you were going over it with the, the um, over the ink. It just gives, obviously you can see a different color and um, you still don't lose your texture. So you can soften your, your dung ball <laughs> with a little bit of water as well. Um, this is such a great technique and I just absolutely love using it. Um, you can create texture as you're painting as well. So have some fun with this and um, see what you can come up with. I can't wait to see your pictures. Remember the theme for this project is to choose any animal that you love and in this case a South African animal. If you are um, from another country then obviously um, you can choose if you want to do your own country's animals or if you want to do one of South Africa's big fives or small fives. <laughs> We've got great animals in this country and it's just uh, lovely to be able to, to draw them and turn them into great art. So um, I hope that you've had fun watching me do my dung beetle. Remember it's a mixed media project. So pencil, uh, black pen, if you don't have one of these then a black cokey will do the same thing or a black um, felt tip will do the same thing um, and if you have access to charcoal or chalk then that's another layer that you can put on top of it just to give it a different look have fun and happy drawing